Hi, welcome back to another episode of the Corderfield Shop. In this lockdown episode, I'm going to build some laptop stands and I made three different designs. Let me show you what I came up with. So the first is very basic. It's just a shape that angles your laptop. It's fixed, so you can disassemble it. So this is version one. I'm going to start with this one. Then the second one I came up with has basically the same shape, but you can disassemble it into three pieces. We just slide into each other and then you can use it. Pretty simple, right? And then the third and last one is a little bit more complicated. It basically has three different angles that you can set it at. If you're interested to learn how to make one for yourself, then stick around. The shape isn't very easily cut on the table saw, so if you have a bandsaw or a jigsaw, now's the time to use that and finish the rest of the cuts. To get the pieces nice and equal after cutting them with the jigsaw, I'm going to tape them together with a 90 degree angle uh, at least covered. Uh, and then I'm going to sand the sloped edge over here and the rest of the pieces just to make sure they're exactly the same. For the second stand, I cut the same three pieces. Um, so we have the two sides. So the shape, I traced it out on a piece of plywood, cut them out with the jigsaw, sand them so they're equal and straight. Then the third piece, which is the back piece, now is larger, so it's wider than the back for the other one, because we're going to cut notches in them. And these notches going to correspond with notches in the sides, so they can slide into each other. To cut the dado in the back piece, I marked out to the half of the height and uh, the width of the sides. 
So this is the, the width of the side. Let's cut these out first. And in case you didn't notice, I taped the two pieces together so the slot is exactly in the same place on both sides. We have a nice fit and it's nice and flush. So that is stand. Number two, finished. We can sand this and finish it, and we've got a completed stand. The parts that we're going to cut for the last stands are two sides with holes in them to adjust the angle of the laptop, two connecting pieces to make a frame, two leg pieces and a bunch of dowels. Let's cut these pieces and start assembling. get an idea of where I want the rotation to be, I'm going to use this washer and mark out approximately a little circle here. So you have an idea of where the leg is going to rotate. And then we want this 10 millimeter dowel to be somewhere in the middle of this.
So a little update on what we're doing now. What I'm doing now is I'm going to fix a mistake because obviously I should have drilled both holes at the same time because now the angle isn't the same. So I should have drilled both holes in both legs at the same time before I glued anything in. And I did that for the prototype, but because I wanted to have the stopped uh, dowels in the final piece, I forgot my process for the prototype, which is obviously bad. So I'm going to redo the legs and I'm going to drill both holes at the same time. So I have my piece marked out. I almost screwed up again here with the second hole. Um, so the first one has the trick with the washer and then I marked the middle hole. Then I took the thickness of the frame and then marked half the thickness of the dowel and then put a hole over right over here. So let's drill these out and see how that works. So I finally managed to get both holes in the legs. And what do you know, it's perfect. I do need to sand off this top corner over here because as you can see, it sticks out a little bit, but that's fine. I can just round over the top of the leg here and then it looks probably even nicer than it does now. And then we have our, our three angles. So we have most of the pieces ready now. We have the legs with the two dowels. We have the sides of the frame with the holes. We have the top of the frame, which doesn't need any work. And then the bottom of the frame actually needs a few dowels as well, because we're going to make a strip that connects into this piece and actually make sure that your laptop doesn't fall off. Same as the hooks for the other stands. And I'm going to drill two additional holes in the front so you can store it away when you're flat packing it. So we need uh, two times the holes in the same, exact same location. So that's why I made this little template. And now we're going to drill the holes using that. And now we wait for the glue to dry. So that pretty much wraps up the video. I showed you how to make these three laptop stands. I'm going to sand and finish three of my final models. I'll leave the prototypes as they are. Hopefully it was useful to you. If you come up with your own design or use one of mine, be sure to let me know. Tag me on Instagram and all that social stuff. I'd love to see what you come up with. Um, yeah, I hope it's useful to someone. Thanks for watching and see you for the next one.